All right, so I just did a video on why you need to update or at least check your advanced medical directive, a healthcare proxy, um, uh, healthcare power of attorney, all synonymous for the same thing. Now I'm going to show why you need to do the same thing on your durable power of attorney. So uh, again, I had a lady named Allison Bird, B-Y-R-D, as my attorney here in Georgia. Big fan of Allison. I think she uh, moved on to another firm. Uh, you can find her on LinkedIn. Um, I, I, she's fantastic. Love her to death. I haven't kept up with this. This is 2016 when Charlotte and I got ours updated. Uh, if you live in Virginia, Erin Lehman in Harrisonburg, uh, she did ours, E-R-I-N-L-A-Y-M-A-N. Big fan of hers as well. I know her brother, uh, her dad. Uh, I think I knew her dad. Anyway, I knew her brother, and I like her a lot. Now, again, when we lived in Harrison, we lived in Dayton, Virginia. That was from 2000, 2008. Erin, uh, I, I follow her on LinkedIn, too. Um, I think she's. I think she has her own firm. Actually, now I think about it, she had a firm when we did ours through her, and then uh, I think she started her own firm. So actually, let me look up Aaron. Hold on, just let's see old Aaron here. Um, it's been a while, and I, I can recommend both these people, Allison Bird, and uh, and Aaron Lehman. So let me look at my other computer here, and uh, to see if I can give you a heads up. So I uh, now you want to get someone in your state. You, you do not want to get. That's one thing about legals and stuff. Uh, I, I got no problem with it, but the, the, the drawback is, is if they're not, it just got to be state specific for sure. So let's look for Aaron Lehman. Yeah, there she is. Um, uh, yeah, she's uh layman's law PLC in Harrisonburg, Virginia, right on. So there you go. Layman's L A Y M A N S. Look, I, I don't know if, if Aaron would, uh, would appreciate me referring her. I, I don't know because I just don't know the like. You know, I can engage in politics in here, and some people don't want to have anything to do with people uh, who are political at all. But uh, but it'd be as it may. Um, you know, Aaron did my stuff, and I, I I when we lived in Virginia, but of course we had to get updated when we went back to uh, when we changed to Georgia. Let me see, Allison B R Bird. She is with uh, Morgan and uh, DeSalvo PC. Uh, Morgan and DeSalvo. And DeSalvo is D-I-S-A-L-V-O. And Allison's uh, like Allison and then B-Y-R-D. All right. So that's uh, who I recommend. That's who we've used. Uh, and if you're in Virginia, in Harrisonburg, or in Atlanta, North Atlanta suburbs, uh, you know, use uh, Allison. If you're in Virginia, use Aaron. All right. So this I want to share with you what uh, our financial powers of attorney say. So remember, you got a healthcare power of attorney, a financial power of attorney as well. So we're going to say it very explicitly. Uh, we want this to be durable, which means it is effective immediately. It survives. It survives in capacity and its effective date. I want to read this to you right now. This is huge. So this is Pat, the page five of six, and you can see it's way down there. Effective date. You can see that way down there. It's, I mean, see it? It's down here. Effective date. All right. It says, the document shall become effective on the date of its execution by me, Josh, old Josh, and it shall remain effective until revo revocation, revocation by me, old Josh, appointment of a conservator of my property or the occurrence of my death, whichever occurs first. So it's durable. It's effective immediately, immediately. And then you got witnesses and it's dated 4th of, this, 4th of May, 2016. All right. So that means now you got to look for the effective date. The effective date is probably the most important thing there is, uh, simply because if <laughs> that's what it says, it comes into being. If yours says it doesn't come into being until a couple doctors have to, uh, I'm looking to see uh, that's the that uh, a springing power of attorney it springs into action at your incapacity. Well, how, who determines your incapacity? Doctors. How are you going to be able to go see a doc right now? I mean, come on. Hospitals are laying off crazy amounts of people. You know, all the docs are focused on call me virus. So, yeah, if you needed somebody to take care of you financially, that's going to be tough. You don't want that. And so, anyway, and you can, I'm not going to read everything on this, but I, mean, I guess my wife, uh, pet care, she has, uh, she can take possession of pets I own. So, there's old Pablo. So, Charlotte can still take care of him. Ooh, I can miss old Pablo. But anyway, a durable power of attorney just means it's effective immediately. Uh, it does not have to wait until you're uh, right here. Durable power right there. That's what I was looking to see. Durable power. All right, so let's read this. It is my desire and intention that this power shall not be affected by my sub subsequent disability, incapacity, or mental inc incompetence. However, I understand that it shall be revoked and the agent's power canceled in the event a guardian is appointed for my property. So that would go through court order. 
as long as no such guardian is appointed, any and all acts done by my agent, Old Shar, pursuant to the powers conveyed here, uh, during any period of my disability, incapacity, or mental incompetence, shall have the same force as if I were not disabled, incapacity, or mentally incompetent. So again, it is saying explicitly it is effective now, and it remains effective while incapacitated. And that's and it is effective now because it says very in the very bottom down here effective date. It says this document shall be infected on the date of execution. Date of execution, like I already said, is 4 May of 2016. Update your durable powers attorney, man. I mean, because if you had to go through docs. All right, so just real quick, a general power of attorney is that you're a, like I signed my mom moved to Virginia. I had a limited power, limited general power of attorney to actually sign for her to, to change. She was still up in Maine uh, to buy this home that was about three, I guess, half a block down the street from where we lived. And that was that that was done after that one transaction. A general power of attorney is good until you're incompetent. All right. Again, incompetent being decided by docs. A springing power of attorney springs into effect once you're in, 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 uh, in cap, in cas incapacitated. Jeez Louise. Oh, yeah, yeah, incapacitated. If I was sitting on a car, I'd get pulled over for a DWI um, and I don't drink. All right. So anyway, so that's what it springs into effect once you're incapacitated. But again, how who determines that? The docs. A durable power of attorney is durable. It's a, it's, it, it survives incapacity. The question is, though, when is it effective? It's effective when you when you say it's effective. In this case, mine's effective for old Charlotte right now. She could literally cash me out and go you know, live to Mexico with a pool boy if she wanted to. She won't move to Mexico, trust me. After interviewing my man Randy and the lady Aaron in Mexico, I was trying to convince her, let's go to Mexico. She goes, nope, not moving there. So uh, if she were to move to Mexico, she could, you know, cash me out and uh, be well on her way. And, you know, probably she ought to do that. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, be that to me. That's the drawback about a durable power of attorney. You're granting people the ability to act on your financial affairs today. All right. And if you do it, if it's effective immediately, they don't need to get a doctor to sign off on it. Hope this helps update that stuff ASAP. All right, we'll see you.